Or you do it and hey, just do okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the secret. Are you ready? Oh, you're gonna say that? Just do it. Go for it. <laughs> Every failure is a lesson. It is. But how to can grow. we get? Okay. How can we get to that mindset though? That you're gonna fail no matter what, so you might as well take it as a lesson. <laughs> what what can I learn from this? Instead of oh I suck, it's like okay, what can I learn from this? What can I do better next time? How can I grow from this? You don't you can you okay so it's perspective right? You can look at a failure as like oh I'm never gonna do this again. I failed. I suck. Or you can look at it as okay I'm gonna do better next time. Okay how can I grow? Okay, what is it that people like? Okay, what's the feedback? Okay, what's the criticism? How can I grow from this and be better? Because you're going to fail no matter what. Obviously, we're not perfect and we're not born professionals. Like you asked me if I, I get nervous on these things. Well, at the very beginning, many years ago, I was mortified. I couldn't even talk. I would stutter. I would sweat. I would get anxiety. My hands would hurt. But after so many fails and experiences, now I don't I, like it's second nature. So you just have to push yourself and realize that even if you do mess up, who cares? Who really cares? Honestly. Not only who cares, but does it matter when you think about... It doesn't. People die. forget. Our attention span is like one second. Okay, so you you messed up. No pasa nada. There you go. That's my slogan, by the way. But what, what I want, because does this make an impact? Maybe, I don't know, two people, three people, but when I see my daughter, like... And it was really good, and I am taking that. And, and this is exactly what, what I was saying about knowing your personality, how you think. Not only want, do I want to share your story, but I want people to be like, yeah, si se puede, of course, but I'll give them some tangible stuff opposed to it. Pues tírate el agua. I get it, by the way. At the end, that's what we want, but hopefully they understand. For, again, and this is where I think that they need to already have that mindset, something already there okay. for them to now put themselves up. To push themselves. Yes. So... I, I don't know about you, but for me, I hate that feeling of when you have an opportunity and you're about to lose it. And it's like, if I don't do it right now, this opportunity is going to be like gone forever. And then I'm going to have the regret. And that feeling of regret is so like, oh, I get stupid. Oh, I get stupid. Why didn't I yeah. do it? That's the worst feeling to me. So ask yourself, would you rather take the risk of fail, embarrassment, or whatever, but you're gonna learn from it. At least you did it. At least you tried. At least you had the guts to try. Or nothing ever happened. Now I have to live the next 20 years knowing that I didn't take that opportunity. That sucks. It definitely does. And again, when I find people that think the way I think it's, oh my God, here it is. Because the way I see it, basically the same thing. But what's I always think, what's the worst case scenario? And if the worst case scenario is not, you're gonna die? And you're good to go. That's the reason why I do so many things because if the worst case scenario is not you might die, so let's get la verdad. In the in the large scale, of the things, worst case scenario no probably nada. isn't even that bad. Yeah, that's it's probably that. like not that big of a deal, honestly. Nice. I'll tell you. You want to hear a story? I do want to hear many stories. So one time I was in LA, uh, and I was with my husband and my best friend, and we went to. Um, Pump, okay? And it's a restaurant that Lisa Vanderpump owns. And I said, I have like this manifestation thing that I believe in and it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And I woke up that morning and I told my ex, I said, I'm gonna meet Lisa Vanderpump today, watch. I said, we're gonna meet her and we're gonna go to her restaurant. I said, watch. Well, we end up getting reservations at a restaurant. We sit down, her and her husband are right there at the table right next to us. And I said, I told you, I told you. And so they were tripping out because they were like, I can't believe it. Like, she was right. Like, what the hell? So I had this opportunity where I said, either I go up to them and I build a relationship and this is going to help my business, myself for the rest of my life, or I could be a weenie and me da pena, la, 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 and, or embarrass myself or, you know, make an idiot of myself, or I can live with that regret forever. I got up. I introduced myself. I met both of them. To this day, I get invited to their galas every year. I've met so many celebrities. I've made so many connections. I was able to dress a lot of the real housewives because that moment of opportunity that I took and I said, YOLO, screw it. I like If not, I'm going to live the rest of my life remembering this moment of what an idiot I am. Wow. Do you realize there's 